Hello everyone, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. So, last episode was pretty long. Okay, very long, but we had to clean off the ship that apparently was dirtied up by a giant tidal wave. But now, we must clean the recreational vehicle again. Hello there. My transport is dirty, making me so sad. Please clean it up so I can smile once more. Gladly! I thought I saw something moving in the distance over the- Hey? I see you over there. Look, it's the fucking gnome. Yeah, can I hit it? Oh no, I- Ah, uh, I can't reach that far. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Yeah, I can't reach that far. Oh well. Hmm. Uh. Hold up. Why is there a... Oh, hey, look, there's a gnome right here. Why is there a giant... Um... Why is there a giant black trail as if something crash landed here? Huh. Um. What the fuck? Y'all are seeing this too, right? I... Okay. Um. What the hell's that? I think that's just a tree. Um. Okay. I thought something seemed off when I just noticed that it wasn't dirty, dirty at all. What the fuck? I think we know what made this giant black trail. Um. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> okay. Um. Alien spaceship. Okay. Simple enough. What the fuck? <laughs> Apologies for the deception. And relax. This isn't an alien invasion or anything weird like that. Cerulean sky. Well then, can you explain yourself? We're simply time-traveling scientists from the year 2278. What? Wh what the hell? <laughs> I did not see this coming at all. So, what the fuck? Okay. Um. All right. I'll, I'll get your. I'll get. I'll get your spaceship cleaned up then. Auxiliary gyromatic disc. How do we even know what that is? Wait. So, here's my question. And if they're time-traveling scientists, are we in a time- are we in a day and age where- are we in a day and age where the reason everything was so dirty was because they hadn't been cleaned in, like, over a hundred years or something? I, I- I don't know myself, but this is not the thing- Wait a minute.
Oh, wait, no, I, I, I have $700. Okay, I was confused. I was like, did the price change because of what this thing is? I'm honestly amazed. So, I... So, here's my... Here's my question. Um... When we cleaned that RV the first time, was it actually a spaceship? Or was that a legit RV? I don't even know, and I'm very confused. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain, because this is fucking awesome. <laughs> like, this is, this is beyond anything I ever could've expected, but this is amazing. I just hope that we have some answers for Someone hit us with using technology that even we are unfamiliar with, disabling our entire systems with a strange substance and forcing us to crash land. Technology that, until our vehicle's completely clean, we're stuck here. A technology that even you're unfamiliar with. Okay, that's, that's kind of concerning. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Dioxidized you go. What kind of substance? Also, can, okay, I, I didn't get to read that. Can I can I view those messages? Hey, maybe. Can I can I view those messages? No. Okay. It said also it could something something anyway. I didn't really get to see what it said. Positive stream intake vents. This is nutty. This is bonkers. I thought, see, I thought something, also, I like how it actually seems to, to, to like, turn on as we, uh, as we clean it, as we finish clean parts of it. Anti-gravity plating. This is, I, I know I keep saying this is unlike anything I ever expected, but, like, holy crap. I mean, th these guys have, like, TARDIS technology or something. Able to, able to just... Can you imagine that? Uh, the Can you imagine Doctor Who, but the TARDIS is shaped like a typical van? At least then it can move around. God, that's such that's just incredible. Twenty two of the year twenty two seventy eight. Wow. So where they're from, they were hit uh, with a technology that not even they understood, with some kind of substance that caused their ship to crash. I guess no one else knows about this. No one would even believe us if we told them that, hey, we helped clean an alien spaceship. We came here to resolve the historical mystery as to why Mount Rushless suddenly became so angry, but then just as suddenly stopped. Yeah, that was us. That was most definitely us. It's not known to you guys yet, but Rushless is the master key for the entire Pacific Ring of Volcanoes. When it blows, they all blow. Really? And the last time that happened, we said goodbye to the dinosaurs. 
Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold up. I thought I thought the dinosaurs died because of the KG asteroid. I guess in this universe it happened differently. Wait a minute. So if that's the case, wouldn't that mean if we did if we hadn't done anything like half the war like the area affected by the Pacific Ring would have most definitely been utterly and completely demolished. So that means we essentially just saved, like, millions of lives. Not just our city, but millions of lives. Oh my god, that is, that is insane to think about. I always thought, so, okay, so that volcano had a much bigger role than we originally thought. This wasn't just, like, Pompeii, this was, like, saving, this was, like, saving a fraction of the world. Maybe more, maybe less. But in any case, had that volcano erupted, Muckingham would have been no more. That is absolutely bananas. This is... They also did a, an amazing job designing the spaceship, too. Okay, anything I'm missing here? Aside from this... So yeah, like I said, no one is ever going to... Is that a crack? That looks like it's cracked. Also, the little details of it having little scratches on it and everything is a nice touch, but I'm pretty sure that that looks like it's cracked. But you can't vote well. I've seen enough disaster breakdown to know what happens when an important piece of an aircraft stops functioning. 
that channel uh, that channel is really good when it comes to learning about all, about why all sorts of different planes went down and not like in a dark way but more in like a documentary style way He doesn't just, like, show pictures and, you know, he, he doesn't just show pictures and talk about what happened. No, no, no. He even, like, has 3D simulations that he that he has set up to really emphasize when something goes wrong. It's really fascinating. Also, yes, I like using this uh, nozzle, because why not? A hyperwarp engine. You know, I think it I think it really is starting to make sense that um, this hyperwarp engine, after it was damaged, really is starting to make sense that, uh, you know, they ex couldn't exactly fly. Are they gonna have to- are they gonna have to, like, wipe my memory since I had to clean this entire thing? Are they, are they gonna, like, wipe my memory that these guys even- this thing even existed? I'm gonna go with probably. Okay, what is, what is missing? What is missing from this panel? There we go. Positive stream uh, intake vents. Okay, these still gotta be clean. Gotta be, gotta be spark. Gotta be polished and cleaned. So very, very thoroughly. exactly I'm aiming for. I just know that I have to clean these vents somehow. Wait, maybe it's... Maybe it's somewhere around here? Oh! Oh, it's in between! Is that everything? Oh. Oh, wait, um... Yeah, these are completely cleaned out, so what am I missing? These are both the same part, so... Wait, 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 wait. Aha! I bet these are also part of it. Yep, 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 yep. Shit. 
you know what? While I'm here, I might as well cover the side. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is marvelous. Man, Dave is going to be in for one hell of a surprise when he gets to cleaning this, I tell you what. Uh, for those who don't know, um, my friend Dave also plays Power Watch Simulator. Um, almost alongside me at, like, around the same time. So when he sees this, he is gonna... Oh my god, he is gonna be in for a surprise. I'll handle those vents later. For right now, I'm gonna focus on the other side so I have actually made progress. You know, making progress is the kind of important thing to do. This is so... This is this is just so fucking cool. We flew close to the volcano in the dead of night. FYI, with just a few lights on. Yeah. We were spotted and shot down by a jet plane, and now this timeline is all over the... What? And now this timeline is all over the place. What do you mean by that? Our data now suggests that Mount Rushless has passed the point of ver no return and is going to blow. That that shouldn't be possible. We 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 sued it. Do they know? Wait, I don't think they know about the statue. But what do they mean? This timeline is all over the place. That okay? That's suspicious. Like timeline. There's, there definitely is more to this game. I just don't know what. Serious question, like, for, serious question though, am I gonna have, like, my, my memory wiped when I help these guys? So that, I, so that I can never tell anyone that they were here. Since we're in the past, would that affect the future? I mean, we're not, we wouldn't be, a, uh, I mean, hmm. I mean, they're from the future and not the past. So, chances are it would just kind of change the future, but not our past. But it, it would not, it would not change our present, which is the past, but it might affect the future, if that makes sense. Woo! Big and purple, I like it. By the way, how is our early 21st century parlance? Most of the era's anthropological archives were lost in the Second Martian War of 2145. Uh, what? I don't speak alien, brother. How nice is Red Velvet Cake? We're definitely going to replicate that long lost recipe if we manage to get back to the future. Uh, cool! What, what are these things? Auxiliary gyromatic disc frame. Oh no, Wave Pulse tractor units. Oh, 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 of course, of course. It can't be a spaceship if it doesn't have a tractor unit. Or a tractor beam. You know? Already 89% done. It also can't, it also can't be an alien, it can't be like, I, I guess in this case, 
still something alien if they're not if if they're not wanting something earth-like like a red velvet cake. This is just amazing. I I, I know I that, that's really all I've mostly said in terms of how bonkers this is, but a spaceship was the last thing I ever expected to see. Like for real. question is, if they say this timeline is now all over the place, how is it going to get fixed? So, I also think what they mean by this timeline is all over the place is, I think in another different timeline, Mount Rushless was supposed to blow, but that timeline got mixed into this one and put our lives in danger. I think that's kind of what they're getting at. Like, something that was supposed to happen somewhere else in another timeline nearly happened here in the wrong timeline. In a, in a, in a, in a, in a place, in a place that it was never supposed to explode. That's just my guess anyway. But, at least, at the very least now, hopefully the, uh, world and everything will be safe. Also, when they said the last time the ring of the Pacific Ring of Volcanoes exploded, they had to say goodbye to the dinosaurs, did that imply that they managed to bring dinosaurs back from being uh, extinct? And if so, hopefully it didn't end. It didn't have a, a very unfortunate situation like Jurassic Park did. And hopefully, they had control over those dinosaurs because dinosaurs do not care what humans think; they just see humans as food to eat. So if these guys really did want to like bring dinosaurs back, if that if that's what they did, they better have had a good plan for it. We are making some good progress here. Magnetic disc.
landing site. Okay. Alright, um... What have I not cleaned? Okay, saucer lower wing. Alright, uh, we good? Or what, what else is there? There we go. Hyper propulsion drive. Alright, on the directional landing socket, Critalium saucer lower rim. Polarized saucer plating. Landing in different directions with this thing. That's pretty cool. Tritalium saucer lower rim. Which part's that? That would be... Right here. Oh, that was weird. Alright, let's go ahead and take the ladder. Boom. Polarized saucer plating. That is still underneath. Oh no, it's right here. Maybe underneath? Oh wait, I get it. It's on this side, isn't it? There you are. Um, okay. <laughs> it even starts out as the van, too. <whistles> Systems are fully operational. Spectral analysis reveals a trace mineral with unusual properties. There's not enough time between now and the eruption to fix things here, but we've got a lead that help might help us solve things in the past. You'll know we were successful if you ever see us again. You'll know we weren't if the rushless explodes and the skies go dark for 20 years. Thank you again, Power Wash Services. Yeah, we're going to be saving that for next time. <laughs>